हाय गाइस दिस इज नाइस शर्मा एंड इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट मींस इफ एल्स स्टेटमेंट इन पावर ऑटोमेट कंडीशन कंट्रोल एक्शन इन पावर ऑटोमेट कंडीशंस कंडीशंस आर बेसिकली वैलिडेटिंग अ लॉजिकल स्टेटमेंट इट मींस इट इवैल्यूएट्स द लॉजिकल एक्सप्रेशन एंड हुज आउटपुट इज अ ट्रू और फॉल्स सो यू कैन डिफाइन द टू ब्लॉक्स वन ब्लॉक फॉर द ट्रू पार्ट एंड अनदर ब्लॉक फॉर द फॉल्स पार्ट सो If the output of that condition is the true, then the first block means true block will execute, and if the output of the condition is false, then false block will execute. How the condition action works, we can check with this diagram. We have a product, and then we have a condition. So here we check if the value of the product is equal to pen, then it's yes. So we have one block, and say it comes under the stationary category. If it is no, product not equal to pen, then no condition. Another block, then category is other, and we can make the nested if else statement. It means condition within the condition. Say input product, if product is equal to pen, then yes, category is equal to stationary, and if no, so in case of the no, in this block we can define another condition. in another condition we are checking if product equal to mouse if yes then category is the computer otherwise again else in the else part of second condition we have the another nested condition it means condition within the condition then product equal to chair yes category equal to furniture otherwise then no then category equal to other so this is called the nested if else condition now we check it practically and create a flow create instant name of flow say test condition then manual trigger create and trigger add input say my product second one Product price. Okay, now we have to input box. So when we test this flow, then we have to input the value for these two boxes, product name and the product price, and we will write the information. We will write that these details into a our Google Sheet. So first of all, we check our Google Sheet. In Google Sheet, we have a product category and price. and name of this google sheet is the condition condition so we have a condition true part and the false part or we can say yes part or the no part so first of all we define the condition choose your value and we say my product because this my product is coming from the input so equal to say pen if you input the value for the product column then yes if we write the information in google sheet google sheet and insert row pick file then condition sheet 1 so we have three column names from the google sheet product category and price in product we can take it dynamically my my product and category we will decide here if is a pen yes then say stationary and price again from input box product price okay if the product not equal to pen so no again add google sheet insert row pick file same google sheet condition worksheet 1 now product my product dynamically category we will decide here other then price from input box
product price. So this flow is done with one condition. Now we save this one and test. my product and the product price. First of all we check pan. So it should be the true because we have a condition pan product equal to pan. Then price save 1000. So flow is done. Both steps have the green tick mark. If we check the condition and you can say if yes. So tick mark. It means this condition has been executed and no part cross. This con condition has been ignored. We will check our Google Sheet. In Google Sheet, we have the pan, product name, and the category is the stationary than the price. Okay. We test it again. This time, say mouse. 500. Run flow, done. Okay. We check the condition. So, yes, condition. Now we have the cross. It means this condition has been ignored. And if we check the no part, then green tick mark. So, now we check the Google Sheet. Second entry where the mouse and the category is the other. And the 500 is the price. Now, suppose we have the multiple products and now how to apply the multiple criteria for the multiple product. So as we discussed in the diagram, we can apply the nested condition. As part of the condition, of the parent condition, then we can apply the another condition. Okay. So now, this is our parent condition. If my product is equal to pan, then go to yes part and insert the row in the Google Sheet with the category say stationary and if no then we can apply another condition as part of this condition. So control then condition. In condition we say my product equal to mouse then yes part of the nested condition google sheet sheet name condition then sheet 1 and product dynamic my product category. Now for the mouse, we will decide the category for the mouse, say computer. Then price, say 2000. This is done. Else part, no. If product not equal to mouse, Google Sheet, Insert Row, Pick File, Condition, Sheet 1, Again Product, My Product, Now Category is Other. Then price, product price. So this is done now. We save this one. And test. So first of all we check pen. Say 3000. Run flow done. 
so we check the status the parent condition yes because the product equal to is a pen okay now we check the google sheet we have the pen and the category is the stationery and price is the 3000 okay now we re retest that one test this time mouse and 666 price run flow done okay now we check the status so parent condition yes now is false so we have a cross mark no part in no part we have another condition and the mouse this is the yes yes now we check the google sheet so we have the mouse and the category is the computer then 2000 now retest again test and now chair price say 9999 and run flow done condition so this is false parent condition and no part now the yes part is false now so it goes to the no part of the nested condition this one we check the google sheet now we have the chair category other and this is the price so this is how we can create the flow with the condition single condition and the nested if else condition so guys this was all about the conditions in the power automate thanks for watching the video